Hi, my name is Gina, and I want to thank Cheryl and Mom for being so patient on my how many attempts to complete my talk on parenting education. And while I'm sharing my talk with you, I hope you will look at my visual presentation. And as you look at the picture of parents and children, I hope that you'll think about your own um, thoughts and experiences in being a parent and parenting in our society in general. So why parenting education? Of all the occupations that we have in our community, parenting is the one thing that we don't have any requirements for, even though the majority of the people in our society are engaging in this occupation. No training is ever required. And those of us who struggle the most to find a contributing and caring place within our society often come from homes that um, found it um, that had parents who had a difficult time parenting us. So there's no manual, there's no standard, and there's no basic knowledge required. So how can we expect parents to raise children to be caring, contributing members of society when most of the parents are struggling to find this place themselves? Well, there is a solution, and that's through parenting education. So for the benefit of our society, every parent must be required to take parenting education classes. And as a society, we have this obligation to make these classes available for free to all parents. Um, now, because children model their own life experiences, it only shows that parents who are confident and competent have a much better chance of raising caring, competent children. So this impacts us, it impacts our children, and it impacts our greater society in a positive way. So if these classes are mandated and free, then as generations grow and grow, our society has this strong foundation of parenting, and so we're passing on this gift to future generations. I want to touch a little bit on reducing child abuse and neglect. Um, studies have shown that parents who feel supported and connected within our community, it reduces the risk factors for those parents to in turn um, abuse and neglect their own children. So if we have a place within our community to be able to talk with other parents to realize that the struggles we go through and the difficulties we have are a normal thing, and to come up with solutions that we can try that positively impact our own children and our own lives, um, then we are in support creating this strong network amongst parents, amongst children, and strengthening our own communities. So if we get to the point where we all agree that this is a positive thing for our society, um, what can we do to um, support this? Now, at this time in our culture, we insist that our children are educated. And um, many states already have implemented more and more education programs that are now um, being brought in at younger and younger ages. And what I'm suggesting we do instead of educating our children at younger ages and taking them out of the home, let's instead educate the parents. Let's bring those parents out, have the places within our community where they can attend classes, meet other parents who are going through the same struggles and difficulties that they are, and um, build on this to become better parents ourselves. So the responsibility of raising the parents isn't to be left to the schools, but it's our personal responsibility as parents. So let's support that by having the places um, to do this. Now, um, Dr. Brazelton um, suggests that education and support can help reduce these stressors that we go to, um, that we deal with as parents. And with understanding and knowledge, parents can face these difficult times and situations with understandings and grow with their children. Um, so in conclusion, I'm asking that, um, that parents, that Americans recognize that parenting is important. We all need to make the decision to educate our parents and not just our children. Um, 
I would like to um, lastly share a quote from Martin Luther King, who says that the institution of family is decisive in determining not only if a person has the capacity to love another individual, but in a larger sense, whether he is capable of loving his fellow men collectively. The whole of society rests on this foundation for stability, understanding, and social peace. So even Martin Luther King um, recognized the importance of having strong, capable parents as being the foundation for leading our future society to being a more productive and loving um, society. So at this time, I would like to ask if anybody has any questions. Cheryl? Why, why do you think the classes should be free? Um, I think it's important that the classes are free because um, not having enough money is a really easy excuse for people to use to actually get out of having the classes. So by saying that they're free, that people can just walk in and know where in their community these classes are and that they can just walk in at any time and take them. And with that offering free, they also need to be mandated. There has to be some minimum requirement throughout the lifespan of a child from birth through the time that um, these children now are living on their own. The parents have a place to go and get the support that they need. How do you feel the classes will help parents? Um, I think that they'll help parents in the fact that, um, you know, being a new parent, especially new parent, it's really easy to get overwhelmed very quickly. And a lot of parents kind of abandon their role um, as making parenting important because it's almost easier to take care of themselves. And a lot of times those types of things lead to alcohol abuse, drug addiction, and neglect in the children just because parents don't know how to deal with it. So instead of um, having the parents you leave the home or get overwhelmed, that we can actually support them before they get to that point, know where they can go to get help, and to actually have a positive feeling about being a parent and, and bring that joyousness into their, their own home, their own family, and their own community. So I would like to thank you all.